Hi again, welcome to the garage, I'm Pierre. Uh, this time we want to measure uh, inside the uh, this uh, big ring there, the bore of that. Uh, oops, and eventually we want to uh, get some very exact measure to uh, make the comparison between these uh, cheapos and the, the good ones. So uh, like some uh, viewers ask, you know, how accurate these uh, calipers can be. We'll see that. But uh, before, we got to make ourselves uh, some kind of a reference uh, diameter, inside diameter. Uh, as we all know, it's much more difficult to measure inside than uh, outside diameter. And uh, we'll try to get imaginative ways that, uh, without spending thousands of dollars, we'll be able to measure that, like, within maybe one or two tenths of thousands of an inch, which is... Uh, you know, some kind of a good achievement if we can make it like pretty reliably. Um, many methods are uh, offered, like uh, telescopic gauges. We got uh, inside macrometers. Sorry if it's far to reach. Inside macrometers. We got uh, bore gauge. Combina combination with uh, micrometers and things like that, but I want the most direct way possible to avoid uh, transposing, you know, measures and just to keep the errors as far as possible. So uh, these gauge blocks that we already compared, they're pretty close. They're like uh, in a shop, like a, a home shop or a small shop. I mean, the the, the difference will, will be like. Uh, kind of impossible to really make between this a good day and a good set. So like for hundred dollars or sometimes less if you shop a little bit around or uh, the classifieds or eBay or whatever, you can get a you know a very decent set and uh, maybe being creative a little bit about uh, how to uh, arrange this. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with an idea and I think it's gonna work pretty good. As we know uh, micrometers are very exact. These ones here, like uh, they, they got direct reading, but they're not much any much more exact than the, uh, you know, the, the standard type with the uh, vernier scale on the top here. You will get uh, pretty pretty uh, close results, and uh, you know, like it's it's good. This is reli as reliable as this. What that's what I I mean to say. I got this here. This is a you know a broken butt of an uh, of an end mill. It's half inch. I got the, this one made me cry a little bit. A carbide, uh, carbide butt too, about half inch. Uh, we'll make sure it's really half inch. It's been calibrated before, but uh, let's check this out. Uh, I think we're half inch within, you know, half of a tent. And is it round? It is pretty round. And let's check this one. Okay, it's three tenths under. Three tenths under. And let's say three tenths under. So we'll take a note of exactly what the size of this, the size of this is. And as we need some round uh, surfaces to mate with these round surfaces there, those are going to be our ends, uh, ends on this there. And we want to measure this inside there. So easy to just get gauge blocks and build the inside there. Start let's say with three inches. We got just about an inch there minus three tenths and uh, let me fiddle around and uh, we'll see how much uh, how much distance there is between that and see how we uh, how accurate this is uh, going to be in the end that measurement. I mean, we will give us a, you know, a little head start. Start with our new uh, and well, the, the most the most used tool in the shop will get an approximation there that will help us get started. So it says four n inches, nine twenty one, nine twenty two. We're oscillating a little bit. So this one been measured half inch minus three tenths. This one's been measured like pretty exact at half inch. So. We got everything there, very close to um, the measure, except for the blocks with the tents in there. We'll try the uh, smaller one 
here, say, this fits like a pretty easy. There could be some, I'd say there's room maybe for maybe a little bit more. Let's put this back in there. So let's try to make them very stand up, stand up very clo very straight though. There we go. Get this one out. Get the next one in size. This is one hundred thousand plus six tenths. Make this straight. You try to get this in there. See if it fit. You ha have to do a little bit of wiggling because everything has to be very well centered and perpendicular, and everything has to be. Oh, this one gets in pretty pretty nicely. And let's try the other one next, the next one up. That one's there and there. They fight a little bit. Yeah, when everything's not straight, it's a little harder. There we go. And let's try the next one up with uh, seven hundred seven tenths over okay everything has to be in line okay everything's in line and sometimes a little bit of wiggling just lightly if you see an opening in the bottom of this one here if, if this like goes at an angle like I exaggerate an angle like this then you know that you're you're too big but uh, as long as this stays straight and it gets in just that's so far so good we're in that's nice okay I think this is uh this is in that little movement shows that it uh, yeah, maybe a few like uh, <laughs> mini microns, and uh, there's not, not nothing else that's going there now. It's uh, it's really like uh, the maximum it will take. So let's add the, this uh, measurement here, and we'll see how close we're from the. Uh, the oh yeah, that's no, that's fine. You can just pull it out very very slightly like this, I meaning you're okay. Let's measure this stack here, and we'll see how close we're from the, uh, the true. Okay, we've got three inches there. We got 700 there. We got uh, 122. Here we got 100. And seven tenths. Uh, we previously measured that carbide uh, slug at uh, four ninety nine point seven, and we previously previously sorry measured that slug at uh, five hundred. If we told this. We got four inches, nine hundred, and I'll show you the numbers: nine twenty-two point four inches. That's what we measure, and I think we're pretty accurate with this. This is coming from my uh, Weber set, Starrett Weber. <coughs> All the gauge blocks are uh, grade uh, class two. And uh, these two ends there, the, those two anvils, special anvils, are rounded ends, plus quarter of an inch uh, calibrated on top of the uh, the rounds there. And let's insert this in there, and we'll see the value. You got to be very straight with this. There's not much room to. Uh, You gotta get it started.
There we go. This is it. And if you want to see the value on this, four inches, nine hundred and twenty-two point four. I filled the I filled around a little bit with this before to make it exact and uh, fit it like that. So uh, this is like a more like a two thousand a two yeah two thousand dollar set, and uh, we're making measures. You know the creative. Uh, the creative measures have been made with the end mill butts, measured with a micrometer. You can use this one, and you can also use this one. Uh, you're not going to see any difference in, accur in accuracy. And uh, this is a cheap $100, maybe $100 something dollar uh, set of gauge blocks, 3 inches, you know, 700, 122, 100, and 7 tenths. And we're getting very close from this, uh, you know, fancy, fancy stuff. So for home shop, for, uh, you know, small machine shop and things like that, you know, pretty accurate measurements are possible. And this is within one tenth of a thousand, which is, you know, an achievement in itself. Fancy gauge blocks like these, which are class two, uh, are usually beyond, beyond the um, measuring, you know, the discriminating capacity of these uh, micrometers. But let's see how maybe the uh, how how close they would uh, they will agree you know let's see just for the uh, you know the kicks of it yeah that's pretty good um, we're at uh, nine twenty two. And how many tenths? Okay, we're 922 and 5 tenths. That's a one tenth disagreement from the uh, nominal reading we got on this. To my uh, appreciation for a uh, you know, small shop, you know, a small machine shop or a, a home shop or whatever, a hobbyist or whatever, this is like uh, if, you get, if you agree with one tenth on your measurements inside diameter, you're, uh, you're very close. So uh, I think I think the creative method here, using the uh, you know the stubs, the, the uh, cheaper gauge block set uh, combination, and came to you know came to agree within uh, within each other. If you don't have half inches, three eighths of an inch will do the, will do the uh, the job too. Just have to measure them pretty good with the uh, micrometer. Either one will be giving you like decent measures on this, and you will easily get uh, a few, you know, not much more than a few tenths uh, discrepancy between your readings. So that, I think that's pretty good.